I turned and I saw that the rest of the people that I was with were kicking somebody on the ground. They started beating, punching me first, then kicking me as hard as they could in order to get me down to the ground. I saw that he was still moving, and I said something to the effect of, what's wrong with you guys? You know, don't you know how to put a boot in? I remember looking into that face. I remember looking at that mohawk in those eyes. I kicked him in the forehead, and he was out. In those last moments of looking up, and watching these 14 guys with razor blades glued to the front of their boots, high-fiving each other, and they were congratulating each other. They believed with everything that was within them that they had accomplished the goal of killing that kid in the alley who had never spoken to them, had never said anything to them. The words and what I saw were far more painful throughout my life than the boots and the blades and we turned up the music, and we drove back to the suburbs. I will tell you, it was a long drive. It seemed like a very long drive, and I think all of us were sort of internalizing and, and processing what had happened. So, you know, I went through most of my life thinking that, that, that I had killed this person, or at least not knowing. 